hello everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we are setting up my daughter's school year insert if you are familiar with my channel and my story you know that i do this project every year i have done one for pre-k i have done one for vpk which are in essence in florida these are both just preschool years and then i did last year's kindergarten also in uh heidi shop insert so the first grade one will fit into this one next they do get kind of chunky but that's okay um i tell stories that just pertain to valentina in these albums and that are either school related or things that she's um you know milestones that she's hitting like last year one of the milestones is she learned how to ride her two-wheel bike um, so that's a great story to keep in this album so that it's relevant to when it was accomplished. Um, if you saw those as well, you notice that all of them start with an insert. Um, all of them start with the cover. I've already cut out first grade. And actually, I just don't like the number one. It just looks like a letter I. But this is the um, L Studio Alpha Metal Die. This is like the Jane Alpha. So it's their most popular. So it's going to be first grade. I've just cut out on black cardstock. We will be cutting a window because that's what I've done each year. And then here is her first grade start photo. And then I printed out two more to tell a little bit more of the story, probably on the opening page behind it. Um, I have started them off pretty much the same each year, uh, simply because it's a nice style I like. So by all means, stay and watch. But <laughs> it's pretty probably going to be similar to the other ones as well. And I'm okay with that. Like I said, they all have the peak window and they all have some sort of floral. So you can see the peak window and a floral, um, peak window and some florals. And then last year as well, if you didn't notice, sorry, I should have drew attention to it before, uh, some flower florals and the little, uh, the grade two. Um, and all of them have that first grade or first grade, first day of photo. Um, so we're just going to stay consistent. That's how all of them have started. And then we kind of open up to the first story. This is the first time letting her go, you know, and stuff. And then VPK, what was here? Um, you just, oh, so see, I did print out uh, other <laughs> pictures. That's kind of how I'm doing it, this one. And then with this one as well, first day, yeah. Because kindergarten, we got to walk her to class. So that's why this one was fun too. Um, this year, we did not get to. We just had to drop her off and 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 go. So that kind of stinks. But my heart doesn't hurt as much watching her go to school yet. <laughs> so I printed this just as an 8x10. I sent it over to Walgreens actually this time just so that I just had it done. Because I was printing out other photos for Project Life. And I was okay knowing that I probably have to have to trim it. So it, actually, I want to put it juxtaposition to this corner. That way she's more in the middle because if I zhuzhed it over too much to be true middle, then this got lost. And then if I made it this corner, then it was skewed over to this side. So we're gonna adhere it here and then figure out where the square cutout would be for it. I also um, will do my journaling on clear sticker paper and I think I'll fit it right here, which is about two inches across and then four inches down so that it doesn't interact with her shoe is really where I was trying to go with it. And then we'll do something there. Um, I, like I said, I already cut out these. Oh, and then I auditioned out these florals. These are from the My Little Things collection. They just went a little bit better. I had other ones I looked at these are the ones from here and now. They were a little bit too neutral. I had ones from my story. These worked too, but I think it was the th it was a thick white border, which I didn't like. I tried out Perry Rose from Fancy Pants. This one too just had a big white border. And so I would have to do a lot of fussy cutting. And I did try out the Simple Vintage Linen Market because I had an extra packet of these, um, but I didn't like them on this corally almost looking like it's supposed to be like abstract peonies. So these I liked kind of the best on there with the window and I was like, it'll be cute. Or even if I did a side thing too again. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't even think about a side one. Maybe add some blue. That could work too. But my only thing is where, yeah, her face would get in the way, but I could cut them. Hmm, maybe we'll do it along this way. Because I did that one is here and then two of them were on the bottom. 
um, well, let's cut the window, let's adhere it, and let's see where it takes us, where does it evolve to, okay? So let's get started. Okay, my crafty friends, let's get this one started. Like I said, I did um, print this one as an 8x10, just simply two Walgreens, and I am not a measurer. As you saw real quick, I just kind of mark lines where I need to have cuts, and voila, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Measuring is not my strong suit, but I do a good marking for this por uh, portion of it. So with that being uh, already kind of in place, like I was saying about how I wanted to cut it, um, now it's just about, in essence, eyeballing uh, where my cut lines are going to be. So I'm trying to get like with keeping it up a little bit, like generally getting like, okay, it needs to be right around here and right around there. And I take my X-Acto knife and do, I think, about a three and a half inch square opening. Um, again, it's not perfect, but I do try to use my T-square ruler and connect the lines as best I can with my X-Acto knife on my cutting mat. This, um, just, like I said, it just, it's it's kind of eyeballing it. I hate to say there's no, like, true, like, scientific thing, and then I just kind of cross my fingers and say, well, it worked. There's my little peekaboo window, and it, it did. It worked perfectly. Um, I've done this in every kind of year like i was showing you all the other examples and what's also good about doing it in this regard is that i also learned from my mistakes because i do like to put a plastic covering um on this and so last year if you recall or maybe i just recall i had done the plastic covering and then went ahead and attached the pattern paper and it made it extremely difficult because now i couldn't like really get the exact window cut out so when i'm doing it this time i do remember to select a pattern paper cut out that square before i attach the plastic window which is just uh like a page protector that i've you know chopped up probably a 12 by 12 one and i use that one constantly on my desk whenever i need a little peekaboo moment so you also see me here auditioning out the different packs of ephemera that i had played with and it was either going down along the side or going down on a, or going across like the middle of the bottom of the window either one works best i think in the end i do decide just to go for the bottom of the window here i am auditioning out different pattern papers which i think will coordinate nicely with um the bright pink of her dress uh, you know the polo dress that she selected so i went with this rainbow paper i do believe this one is from a former chamel collection not her recent one, but last year's one. And this is what I mean about like, here I am making sure I cut that window open because last year I didn't do this. And then I already had, you know, put down the plastic and everything else. And then it was blocked and I was like eyeballing it again. And it was a little bit of a mess. So this is me learning from my previous mistakes. And it turned out better, obviously. So if you do this and you cut a window, always cut out if you're going to back the cover your pattern paper before you attach your uh, plastic like page protector window um, onto the opening because you just don't want to reapply it and rip it up and then they have more excess glue on there it just makes it lumpy and bumpy too not that any of that part matters and <laughs> not that you have to have the window it's just how I've been doing it for the past what is it now for this is my fourth year doing it and it is a good project so um like I said I keep stories pertaining to school her learning milestones that way it's almost like her separate little journal or album from my point of view um, I have high hopes that she will appreciate these when she is older. Um, I am trying to go back and do a like a baby year album because, believe it or not, I was not scrapbooking the first year. Um, I was um, a mom. I was doing it lightly. I had my memory planner, and I was, I think, probably total I did maybe like 25 layouts that first year. It was really hard for me to get back into my craft room. Um, I still had it, um, but I really appreciate me having these albums now to hold these stories and so yeah I encourage you to do something like this and even if you can't do like in case like say your ch daughter or son is already like in second grade you know go back and do some of the stories that you remember um like I was mentioning about like losing teeth or learning to ride their bike or you know getting a good good test on a, uh, a good grade on a test or uh you know being in a school play you know go back and document those highlights from school because I wish my mom did it for me. I hate to say it. Uh, I don't have too much for my childhood, just from what I remember. And even for me, I'm trying to go back and remember my earliest childhood memories. <laughs> but it's hard to find the pictures to coordinate with it. 
Um, so, you know, if you're a mom and you're interested in memory keeping for your, your, your kids, um, I highly encourage just a, a notebook, you know, even if it's just a journal, you don't have to do it as elaborate as I do. This is just part of my self-care of memory keeping is my self-care. Um, but keeping a journal, even if it's a composition notebook where you write things down and maybe print a picture or two, they will appreciate it uh, when they're grown. <laughs> and I always think about it too, like say on her graduation day, I will probably go back at these books and be able to take all of these like first day pictures and last day pictures for some sort of graduation party if I think about it. I'm like, that's perfect. This is it keeps me going, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely uh, will make those graduation parties easier in the future. So for my journaling, I do do it on my MacBook Pro. I create text box in pages and I like measure it out the area towards under the sign where she's standing, like on that negative space of the photo to add a little paragraph worth of, um, you know, like kind of like the school year wish, uh, like that. I hope you have a good year and who is your teacher? Um, you know, if you're anxious at all to go back and I kind of just write a little blurb on the front page and here I am cutting it out. I do like to save my journaling until I have enough journaling on one eight by 10 piece of sticker paper so that I can print them all out at the same time. So it worked out great for this one. And then on the back part with the extra, um, pattern paper from the cut apart when I did the inside cover, I am just kind of adding it to... <laughs> <laughs> not haphazardly there's there was some planning behind this to do a three uh four three by four areas kind of like that and with other pictures like with her backpack I like taking a picture of and having even more journaling about the school year you can see how tiny that text got I really was able to sneak a lot in and then have just kind of flyers that went home in her first day of school folder then on the opposite side I've done this picture too what we get new for the school year so her new book bag and the lunchbox which she selected was all Hello Kitty this year and then I kept all the tags from her school uniforms and school clothes that we had to buy her. In that journaling is also uh, the story, the small story of her needing like more supportive sneakers. Uh, this summer she constantly was suffering from shin splints, which is that ache and pull in the front of the calf from too much walking. So gone are the days of like inexpensive Walmart shoes. <laughs> <laughs> which I have so loved with all the characters that now we have to probably invest a little bit more money um, to get supportive arch support <laughs> and walking sneakers because uh, shin splints is, is sucky to have. And she had it like so many times over the summer from big walking days. So I got her, you know, on sale and clearance, you know, like A6 shoes or Adidas, you know, for school. And now those are the ones she's rocking. So all those details are in my journaling and it's great for the journal to start with. Okay, that will complete the setup for the most part for this journal. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see all the details. So we did the cluster of flowers, and now don't get me wrong, I will cut these so that they constantly don't get bent and everything else. But for the sake of the first picture, I'm keeping the leaves on there. Um, first grade, oh, you know what we forgot to do? The the year. So I will, I will stamp the year when I um, am done filming. So in here, we made the window. I always put like a piece of um, page protector in there. The rainbow paper is great. And then the journaling on the white, not the white, the clear uh, Mako sticker paper. I do always have it linked down below. And it is in my Amazon storefront as well when anyone is um, interested in that. So a full page photo for the first one. I could do some embellishing. But for right now, to keep the ball going and moving forward, uh, we're just going to kind of end it as it is. Even though I, maybe I should bring over some of these flowers again. And I'm already prepared for my next stories. <laughs> so uh, the next page is just the opening one on school supplies. So we did more first grade, uh, first day of school photos. I did screenshots of um, like the first grade take home papers um, through like the parent app. So that's what these pictures are of. And then my journaling right there. Kept the tags to a lot of the school supplies and or uniform things that we um, had to buy for the new school year in her new size. And in the journaling, I do make reference to like her shoe size and her shirt size and things like that. And then over here, we just have the letter I write um to the teacher. It is usually a letter that lets introduces the family to her. Uh, you know, mentioning that, you know, we have dogs and, and that she never calls them her pets, that they're always her brother and sister. And so don't get confused. Um, and then different things that happened last year into this year and letting her know that we do have a tutor in in um, the works when you see that Valentina is struggling and 
what were other the other things oh and that um in case you follow me um like her gifted seat oh and then just like just you know describing my child like she's very creative we do a lot of arts and crafts she does piano lessons she is not athletically inclined um and that she's a picky eater and that we're happy that she is um, her teacher because I did I do know her first grade teacher is a new teacher but I knew her from the aftercare program so I'm kind of glad that she has someone that she knew from last year and so that's where we will start now already you saw me um, print out photos because I wanted to do like her recent uh, favorite movies that she watches and or shows so I've already printed out the movie posters and so we'll do like a currently movie page I also have a story upcoming to tell uh, because she has finally has her first I know she, she's six I know she's late uh, her first loose tooth so we will have um, her losing her teeth this year or you know a story coming up and what was the other thing that just happened recently the tooth the movies there was one other thing that I already knew I had like three stories already ready to go for her first grade book but um that's where we'll end this movie a movie <laughs> video okay that will end this video thank you so much for joining as always if you are new to my channel please subscribe give this video a thumbs up it always helps my channel out and uh thank you for being here and spending some time with me till next time everyone bye